Good morning, welcome back. <clears throat> this is going to be the daily reading for Saturday, September 22nd. Let me light a candle and do all the stuff that I regularly do. You can fast forward to the love message. <clears throat> That's always first, and then the uh, general oracle cards and um, spirit oracle cards are after that. Let me use the dingsha. One second. All right, <clears throat> spirit guides, what do we have? I'll tell you right away, I had some uh, lovely visits from young people, young spirits. They were French from different cultures, a bunch of them, very like urban looking. They're very sweet. And uh, one of them, I was, I was getting up to leave. They're coming up to a table next to me. And as I'm getting up to leave, <clears throat> there's an Asian one out of the group, male, who was, you know, watching. They're all watching and curious. And then they were. he wanted to walk me home to make sure I'm safe. It was very sweet. All of it was very sweet. Let's see. Let's keep this smoking over here. And I got this vibe and this sense of people who are um, not so, well, they, they were raised, they raised themselves kind of vibe. And looking for <clears throat> knowledge or information from people who, uh, you know, don't lie to them or just give the information over, or who are honest, or um, what, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say they had the vibe of truth seekers, right? But also people who had, you know, who are, who have their share of doubt about people. Having said that, it was, it was very sweet. I don't know, for whatever reason, I'll just put that out there. It was a bunch of young people, okay? Like maybe like five of them. And it went into a whole thing. And it was surprising. Like, it was wonderful because I, I was wary because I didn't know who they were. And it was, it was just the whole situation. It was just very thrown together. But in the end, I was surprisingly... What was it? What is the word? What is the word? What are the words? I was surprised. Pleasantly surprised. By um, their motivation. It was very sweet. Anyways. So thank you. I don't know whose guides or ancestors or whatnot that is. But it was lovely. Now, let's talk about the download for the day. Is it a download? Mm, I wouldn't say it's a download. This is just like a... Maybe it is. I don't know. Amusing. Like something... That just came to mind that I was thinking about. I don't know. Whatever. Narcissists. Talking about uh, narcissistic people, you know. And you can fast forward. I'm just going to talk about it. Then later on, I think I'm going to make a video for the downloads. The download of the day. And just separate that from these readings. But it was about uh, people who are toxic. And I always call them toxic, and I, I don't go deep into it. And it's the kind of thing where when you're somebody, oh, it's, it's a, this is all tying together about truth, seeking truth, wanting people to deliver the truth, not hoarding information, hoarding knowledge, hoarding money, hoarding resources, because that's the problem with the world. It's, it's, it's with the truth aspect of it, even with my dream, is people who are seeking truth, people who just tell it straight and don't hoard information. Um, with, you know, greater goals than just to fill your own pockets. So, narcissists. It was about the energy of, what is the thought? It was narcissists, how do you talk to them? How do you communicate with them? You can't. 
I was watching this one guy on Instagram. I think he's a therapist or something. And he, you've probably seen him. It's viral, like uh, him talking about narcissists and stuff. And he breaks it down so perfectly, you know, the kind of way that you would like if you are a truth seeker. We just, just give it to me straight in the most articulate, um, sh condensed version. Meaning, when you're dealing with toxic people and you call them toxic, they have rage. So much rage that they haven't even tapped into. And they've buried that rage deep. And then on top of that, they've covered it up with all kinds of other things. So this guy was talking, the psychologist or therapist or whoever. I'm sorry, I don't know his name. But you've seen him. like He's always playing himself as the feminine and the masculine talking to himself. And it's viral on Instagram. But he's talking about how they love bomb you first. And then they um, find some way to do something, whether it be joking in an insulting way or lying or doing something to break your boundaries. And then when you say that you've been hurt or upset by what they've done, they will um, play victim, right? And then it was like beautiful mind. It all came together, okay? I was Russell Crowe and I'm seeing people from my past, people who are close to me, with somebody else and, and their behavior patterns and it all made sense because there was one certain image I saw like like a video freaking real okay where their eyes well up and they give themselves noble qualities and they talk about all the wonderful things that they the intentions they had and how quality they are and how they've been misunderstood and how you have victimized them but they've done everything wrong where you're the one who has been victimized, but they flip it. So for example, like, you know, everything is cool, love bomb you. Then they start making really seriously like disrespectful comments disguised as jokes. You take offense. You say, Hey, sorry, did you, did you really say what you just said? Cause that's offensive. And then, yeah, I said it. So what? Like I, you can't take a joke. And then, you know, it escalated you're like, no, but that's, you don't understand like how that's super fucking offensive. And then they're like, so you just can't take a joke. Okay, whatever. Right. Like, I, I don't know. I don't think I did anything wrong. Like you're overreacting. You're crazy. And then when you get upset, they play victim. And this continues and escalates because they have so much rage that they have to, um, find some way to, it's like they get off on it, on enraging other people. And so this guy was saying in separate videos, how do you communicate with a narcissist? How do you talk to them? Because there's always, if you're like, you know, a decent person, a light worker, or even a regular person who's straightforward, you're like, there must be some way, is this a miscommunication? I, I, I don't, I, you know, for someone who's point A to point B straightforward, your, your mind gets confused and you get dizzy because you're like, I do not compute. I don't fucking understand what you don't understand. That's the thing. They understand everything, right? And they do it intentionally because they're full of rage. So the psychologist, therapist, he's going, and, and it was a long shot what he's saying, which is you can try to talk to these narcissists and make them understand if they do one of these like three things, you know, they take accountability, they, you know, try to fix it. You see change, blah, 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 whatever, which he ends with, but they probably won't. Right. And then if you know, like, it's like, what are the sound of one hand clapping? If you know, that's what you're going to get. Why are you trying to communicate with someone who doesn't communicate? Why are you trying to understand someone who doesn't want to understand you or be understood? So that's where you have to walk away and be like, I'm not playing this game. I'm not going to communicate because you, you are so far gone and I'm not that, I'm not the one to, to deal with that shit, right? So you, you nip it in the bud right from the beginning. Do not waste time dealing with narcissists, dealing with people who are like this. You can't fix them. They are people who've probably gone through something super fucking traumatic when they were little. 
And since then, like it's never been resolved, never been reconciled with these thief, just buried it. And then, you know, perhaps they're shy or controlled or God knows what, I don't know. They don't have the, the way to get rid of it. That, that, because when you have something bad happen, you have to fill that void. You have to fill that shit that, or transmute it with love, positivity, goodness, inspiration, excitement. Something bad can happen to you. You win a million dollars. You're going to fucking forget that something bad happened to you. Or you don't forget it, but you don't give a shit, right? So you have to replace that toxic energy, you know, release it, and then bring love and healing into your life. These people haven't done that. They've been nurturing that wound and burying it deep and, and playing the violin forevermore for themselves, where everybody they meet is trying to victimize them. You can't communicate with those people. You can't do anything. You can't fix it unless, you know, long shot, they want to do those things and fix it, change it, change behavior, whatnot, take accountability. And he was saying, it's like, you know, the world revolves around them. It has to be about them. It comes from, you know, this like self-importance or whatever. And only thing he doesn't say is, it's, it's not because they think they're important. It's because they think they're garbage. That's the truth. It's from low self-esteem when you act like an asshole, right? Kindness is strength. Destroying things is easy. Um, so that was the narcissist download whatever download thinking musing whatever let's go on to the love reading i'm gonna use i think i'm just gonna use this deck again spirit do you want to use this deck yep judgment five of pentacles ace of cups a yes and a yes five of pentacles some people are feeling left out in the cold and again we got the five of pentacles energy that was taurus's read actually you see these two it's poor health um lack of finances lack of faith they say this is the church and you know they can't see that they can get shelter from the church now it depends. You see these two, they look like they they're they're hurting in this five of pentacles. Sometimes you'll see five of pentacles where they're like looking at the snow and they think it's beautiful. Like they've like they've come out of something fucking traumatic <laughs> and they got their freedom. That's not funny. I'm just saying. Like they've, you know, like oh my god, I'm out again. Like somebody who's busted out of prison. This doesn't look like that. This looks like Two people who have no faith. Okay, so we got judgment. Let's use this deck. For love, it's easy come, easy go. Okay, what do we have, Spirit Guides, for today, for Saturday, for love or general? I'll read it both ways. Wish fulfillment. We got the Nine of Cups. What are you wishing for? Heartbreak. Mm. Emperor Star. Leadership. This is Emperor's boss energy. Star is being... We got Star for Taurus too. Anyways, the Star is being... In, star and the Moon. Mm. I can take that several ways. Let's just look at the Nine of Cups and Three of Swords. Nine of Cups is the first card out. It's saying that there's something that you have been wanting, your heart's desire. And clarifying that, you got the Three of Swords. So this is somebody... Let's clarify some more. Can we clarify the Nine of Cups? Fuck it. Let's just keep going. Nine of Cups and Three of Swords. I mean, let's keep going. Is, is this somebody who broke up from like, or, or they're heartbroken by something they wanted, they didn't get it? Or is it like you got what you wanted and it broke your heart? Or be careful what you wish for? I don't know. What is this? Ace of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. 
It's an offer here. Is this an apology? Or self-love or peace? I don't know. This is Queen of Pentacles. This is a Capricorn. It could be mother energy. Let's keep going. Maybe they're pregnant again. Let's keep going. What is this? What is this spirit? I have no idea. And I'm not going to weave you a tail if I don't know. Chariot, Queen of Wands. So we now got two queens. Five of Pentacles. Maybe this Queen of Wands is the one who's been iced out. I don't know. Chariot is somebody coming in, travel, moving forward, progress, confidence, courage. Queen of Wands is somebody who, yeah, this is a very bold energy. Taking action, psychic. Could be a Leo. Very Sag, King of Cups, Six of Wands. There's somebody who could be a water sign. With both of these, it could be a Cancer. And the Six of Wands is somebody who has leveled up or achieved something. Popularity, looked up to, or it could be somebody who's a Pisces because they have this fish around their neck. A water sign could be a Scorpio too doesn't have to be. It could be somebody who's just feeling things deeply and possibly in love. Fire, earth, water. And we have three of swords. What's the three of swords spirit? What's this three of swords energy? What's going on with the three of swords? Thank you. Independent single. Someone single. Yep. Wounded warrior. They're single. This is why I'm talking about narcissists. I bet you. I bet you. This is somebody who um, blocked because they have trauma. They have issues from their past. They're single again. Offering love to a queen of pentacles. I don't even know. There's like two queens. And a king. What else? Walking away from something unfulfilling and something's over. Toxic ending. Perfect. We like it with the Empress. Could be Taurus or Libra. King of Wands. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. Knight of Cups. Nightmare card, disappointment. Breadcrumbing someone. King of Wands, Knight of Cups, uh, two kings, and you got the walking away. Beats me. Knight of Cups is somebody who's offering romance or love to someone, an offer of their cup. Devil, lovely. See, I already knew I didn't like this reading, but now I'm sure. Magician. Devil, Magician on the Empress, Queen of Cups, Hierophant. That's major Taurus energy there, okay? That's major Taurus energy, but they've been iced out. The Devil is somebody who's obsessed, trying to control an outcome with a Magician. This is someone who, <laughs> oh my God, I'm getting pissed off. I'm getting pissed off again, but I'm not because it's not real. This is not real. Okay, let's talk about this bullshit energy. It's saying... There's somebody here who's trying to, and this is why I talked about a narcissist. This is what happens. I used to just call them crazy or toxic. And I didn't really deal with any of them until much later in my life. Okay, except for like people who are close to me. Female, male, you know, friends, family, whatever. They don't have to be a romantic person to be a narcissist. This person with the devil, it's control, obsession, toxicity, toxic behavior. Um, you see, they're trying to control the, the lovers here, the devil. Are they trying to control some kind of outcome, trying to like make somebody walk away and end something? What are they doing? They're being tricksy with this devil and the magician is a terrible energy because it's somebody who is doing all kinds of um, shady things to try to control an outcome. Let me just say, you can do whatever you want, but you cannot miss your karma or your um, destiny. It's going to happen one way or another. 
So this person is trying to, you know, do things where they feel very powerful. And again, when you try to do things like this, just like when you try to, like a narcissist tries to act like, you know, they're, you know, great and grand and fantastic and perfect and they can never do anything wrong and they're always the victim. Same thing. It comes from you think you're garbage. That's the truth. You think you're absolute garbage. This person is doing this because it doesn't come from a place of strength to do toxic things. First, you have to be really good at being stupid because you don't understand karma and you don't understand energy. So you have to first be really stupid. Okay. And secondly, you have to have absolutely no connection to the divine, to spirit. Doesn't matter what religion you belong to. It's bullshit. You have no connection to it. It's just, it's just a click. I represent this click. That's it. You have no connection to spirit. It's all arrogance and it's unfounded pride. It's bullshit. Thirdly, What are they saying? It's somebody who is, I said you have to be stupid, have no connection to spirit, and what was the third thing? Oh yeah, you, you have to have low self-esteem, like really low self-esteem. So if you're that kind of a winner, you got those three qualities, right? You're super stupid, you have no connection to spirit, it's all bullshit, it's just a click, and then thirdly, you think you're shit. You have low self-esteem. That's when you do things like this. When you go out of your way to try to alter other people's destinies or lives or control outcomes, right? Because you think that somehow you're very clever and you're going to outwit, outsmart everyone else's karma, spirit guides. The divine because you're that fucking smart no you're not you're dealing with an empress and they're dealing with this she is life it's not gonna happen see five of swords it flew out it's not gonna happen ace of swords on the bottom stability it's not gonna happen five of swords is showing Somebody who's trying to take away other people's swords, right? Look at his face. Does that look like somebody who's powerful? This is somebody, again, who has to be stupid, really stupid, to have no connection to spirit or to the divine. They can be any religion. It's bullshit. It's just a click. It means nothing. Okay, wearing a hockey jersey probably means more spiritually to some other person in the stadium than it does for this person of whatever the faith that they claim to belong to. Third, you have to be really, really, you know, insecure and think you're shit. So if you're that winner with those three qualities, then, then this is what you're doing. Five of Swords, talking shit you know, slander about somebody so that, you know, you can influence other people's opinions. Stealing information, cheating, lying, disgrace, scandal, ruin, all that is, it's, it's a shit energy. Trying to get ahead by, uh, in the mildest way, trying to get ahead by taking advantage of others' goodwill or resources or um, whatever, okay? It's, it's shit. And clarifying this is the Ace of Swords. Truth. Truth. What do they say? It says lies have speed. Truth has uh, endurance. The truth comes out. All this person's fuckery, everything, the truth comes out. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Because it's like, it's just so embarrassing. You know, it's like watching a little kid who's stuffing chocolate bars in their pocket. And the store owner knows. And, and the people in the lineup, we all know, we see the chocolate bars in your fucking pockets, right? And this person is sweating to death thinking, and like, they're going to get away with it. It's, it's stupid. And that's, that's me making it very light. Okay. 
Anything else? Spirit, anything else? Not that we need. To... There you go again. Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. You have wealth and stability with the King of Pentacles, and you have Five of Pentacles here. This is Taurus energy, by the way. The Five of Pentacles is being out in the cold. Somebody has now kicked you out, right? They've seen through the bullshit. They don't like how you work and how you maneuver. And now this is where hard times have hit. You know, for whoever this is, for whoever this is, that's because that's what you get, right? That's what you get when you try to do all this fuckery. And that's why I had to start the reading with the talk about narcissists, toxic behavior. This is, this is the karma. All that shit talking and trying to manipulate and be, and getting hot. It's like a kid stealing chocolate bars. Everybody fucking sees it. Everybody knows it's embarrassing. You're not powerful. Again, you have to be stupid. Have no connection to the divine or to spirit or have any faith in spirituality. And third, you have to really truly believe you're garbage. And that's then then when you hit those three points, you can jump into this energy. Spirit, is there a song for this energy for uh, the cross watcher or for this criminal? There you go. He wasn't man enough for me. Right? He wasn't man enough for me. Is that what these two queens are here? You can have him. That's what the, and then the other one's like, no, you have him. No, you have him. Nobody wants the heartbreak. That's what you get. It, it always, and, and of course, this, this narcissist is going to play the violin for them. So I'm always so good. Tears welling in the eyes. I only wanted to be a good man and provide and do this and that. And I was treated like shit. And it's like, you're, you're shit. This is you. Everybody sees it. Heartbeat. Enrique Iglesias featuring, featuring Nicole Scherzinger. But I don't take the, I only take the ones that show. Oopsies. Okay. This one flung out. Spirit's like, oh, hells no. Heartbeat again. Heartbeat again. This, I can feel your heartbeat. So you know what this is? This is somebody who's got, who's very emotional, very connect, like obsessively attached. So you can feel their energy because there's the, just because you have strong kind of, um, if you have strong energy, other people get it, right? Like if you're angry, people can sense that anger, right? They can feel the vibes. If you're happy and joyous and light and breezy, people feel comfortable around you. They're drawn to you. It doesn't mean that you're a powerful warlock. It just means like you're just somebody who's intensely feeling something. So this person is intensely focused on someone, right? And that person's going, I'm not interested. And to the new girlfriend, don't care. Please leave me out of this. Wasn't man enough for me. I'm not interested. I don't know what lies this person, this toxic person has been feeding, um, you know, this other feminine. But it ain't, it ain't true. This is Whispers of Love. Spirit guides, can we get a... I, I don't even know why I'm pulling love cards. And I don't like to go, you know, long on these toxic reads, but this is what had to come out. What do I title this? The narcissist. The toxic narcissist? Or is that just like repeating the same thing? Yeah, I felt sorry for that guy who did the, who made the videos. It's like, you must be the narcissist whisperer. If you can fucking sum that shit up so succinctly, so clean and neat and tidy. And wrap it up with a bow. Like he just straight to it. Like he knows it. Like he's one with that energy. He's experienced it. He must have had some shit like that in his life. And then I felt compassion. I'm like, oh my God, you know it so well. 
how do you know it so well? You know what I mean? You must have dealt with this over and over. Consider your foundation. Romance. Love is all around you. <clears throat> and then on the bottom, honesty is essential. So you are being asked to look at how committed you are to love. Okay, so if this is for the narcissist or for the cross watcher, I feel like this is for the narcissist. I really, I, I do. It's like there's something that they wished for that they're not getting, right? They're trying to offer love to this person, trying to like cross distances to come into this person's life. There is also a queen of wands, okay? Possibly going to, and, and this is where it's amazing. You know, when they do toxic behavior, there's two queens trying to communicate with one, offer thing, the cup to one. Meanwhile, they're going to the other queen's house, right? Um, I mean, it, it, however that, but this could be the mother, this could be somebody else, the romantic interest, however it plays out, right? And coming back, like, you know, maybe they've had some good news somewhere, okay, where they've achieved something, they've, they've come back from a trip, I don't know, whatever. It was unfulfilling and it was had a toxic ending, but they're pretending that it was something victorious and beautiful. Then you got the King of Wands here and the Knight of Cups. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. This could even be somebody who is married. I don't understand because I got a little bit of a gay vibe here. Honestly, I, I, I don't know. I don't know, right? Because, like, why is this King of Wands offering an, a Knight of Cups energy when he's with the Queen of Wands? I, I, I don't know. Maybe they're offering, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't give a shit. I don't know. So here we see that somebody's, and I clarify the Three of Swords, the Heartbreak card or the Lost card, somebody who's single again, they're blocking because their trauma, their whatever, they fucked it up. Okay, what do they do? Now they're trying to control the outcome and do all of this. We've got three kings. We've the king of pentacles, king of wands, and the king of cups. Queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles. That's the perfect counterpart for these two. The queen of wands is the perfect counterpart with the king of wands. And the king of cups is here with the knight of cups here. You know, I mean... They're the ones who are, you know, the odd man out. So this is a, when you want guarantees in love, <clears throat> but you don't get it. And so how committed are you? Uh, whatever, whatever. Okay, let's cover up this devil energy. Romance, lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection. Love is all around you. There's love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this is truth. And then honesty is essential to be a loving person. It's important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. Exactly. Because this person, first of all, they're a liar. They're a narcissist. And they talk shit. Okay? And then they play victim with tears welling up in their eyes. About, I would have been such a good man. And I would have done this. And I would have done that. And, you know, they're breaking their own heart with these wonderful things that they never did. And the only thing they ever did do was be a fucking toxic asshole. Okay, let's get a journey of love card. Why do I get so angry? Let me tell you why I get angry. I get angry not because I care and I'm in this. It's just this energy keeps coming back into the readings, right? And I don't like to give a platform to bullshit because I don't care. I like the good, good, new, new, wonderful, exciting, interesting, inspiring stuff. And yet we are constantly dragged into the mud with this shit. And spirit knows nothing is going to change. Nothing. I, I don't want to do it. We don't want to hear it. And yet, you know, within nothing, there's everything sensual awakening. Eruption of light. I'm not taking two, I'm taking one. Maybe they're discovering they like men. I don't know. Devotion to the small. Angel, uh, you know what? 
acceptance becoming I'm not even gonna use journey of love I'm not I don't care it's not worth it it's absolutely not worth it let's get a crystal for the day and I'm gonna cut this reading short I can't this is exactly it. how do you communicate with narcissists like even their spirit guides are narcissists how do you communicate with them you don't so let's get a, a crystal for everybody what is the crystal card please that was for self-love was trying to come out what is the crystal card please for thank you <clears throat> healthy body and meditation so i don't know take care of your health meditate take time out to meditate healthy body eat healthy exercise you know grounding communication lovers it can be Gemini energy. Letting go. No, we'll leave it there. What else? Let's get one of these. Um, what's this called? Spirit Junkie, I think. The messages are right on here. Here, guys, is there a message from this deck? I am committed to bringing forth my greatness. I will no longer play small. On the bottom, when I move my body, I feel empowered, cleansed, and strong. I guess that goes with healthy body. Let's get a... Um, what's, I want to get the Lenormand cards. Did I bring them up? Did I? They're here, I think. Yay, they are. Yes, yes. Okay. Kipper, Lenormand, whatever you want to call it. Let's use this one. Spirit guys, what do we have? Is there any messages for Saturday? And then I'm going to use the yogic path for all the rest of us normal human beings. Okay, let's see. Birds? Oh, the little bird, it sings a song of worry and woe, but never fear, your trouble hasn't far to go. Birds, shit talking. If with the path no clouds appear, your way is clear. You will escape from any danger hovering near. You see, this this, this is somebody who is coming back and trying to start something. You want to be starting something. Energy, okay? Yes, I just said that. Is this is um? I think this is is this. Is it a Kipper or Lenormand? I don't know. I don't know. What do we have here? What do we have? Spirit guys, any other messages? Waiting. Sweetheart. There's somebody here waiting for you. There's somebody here waiting for you. And I think that's the person. If you're the toxic person... Or is it for the toxic... I don't know, whoever the fuck. There is two feminines here, okay? One might be a mom. I don't know. Okay, the other one... Or it could be somebody married uh, who has kids. Something like that. I don't know. Divorcee. I don't know. I don't care. There's two women. One of them can't stand you. The other one is waiting for you. That's the one you need to go to. Okay. And when I say they can't stand you, meaning not because they have heavy emotions for you, but because you're a nuisance. They don't respect you. Now, how do you fix that? You can't. Have some self-respect. Jesus Christ. African Goddess Rising by Abiola Abrams. Beautiful goddesses, can we please get one last message here for the reading? This toxic read and end this pain. I should do a bonus reading for today. Mask. See, somebody's hiding something. Jumbie masks. You see the mask here too. They're pretending like it's it's that narcissist behavior. Telling the truth for them would be like just death, you know, like their whole um their whole 
false reality that they've built to protect themselves would crumble. They'd crumble to dust, right? Because they live in a fake la-la land of Delulu land. Okay, 18. 18. Shadow of Masks, she's Caribbean, Temple Shadows, Element Air. Jumbies are the scary, shadowy, otherworldly spirits and monsters of the Caribbean. Jumbies Shadow Guidance, where is the lie? Get quiet to get clear. Put your hand on your heart. Now, are you confused or are you afraid? Your outer world is a reflection of your inner world. Embodiment, show your true face. Wearing a mask blocks your vulnerability and blessings. If you are wearing a mask, dare to reveal yourself. You are lying to others and to yourself. Wearing a mask is exhausting. Be you. If someone else is wearing a mask with you, you deserve clarity. Your relationship and connection is built on lies. Their mask is a projection of your own. Goddess declaration, I am willing to remove the mask. Thank you. Thank you, Goddess Jumbi. Thank you. That was the message. And I thought it's such a low vibration thing to talk about narcissists. I'm like, that can't be a download. And the whole reading was about that. And the goddess oracle card is about that. So I'm going to leave it there. Okay, have a wonderful day. I'm going to do a bonus read for everybody else who's not toxic or a narcissist. Have a great day. Bye.